me Nikki Nicole so for the new subscribers and the new viewers before I even get to the video this hair update I just want to let you know that I have been natural I was natural for five years I started transitioning in high school in October of 2011 and then I big chopped my hair in June 2012 so that was like eight months of me transitioning so I know the struggle I transitioned and I went natural and I cut my hair several times so I was natural from 2012 of June all the way into April of 2017 so if I would have stayed natural without getting a relaxer I would have been five months natural I'm mean five years natural this year but I made a huge mistake a huge mistake I relaxed my own hair basically I relaxed my own hair in April of 2017 so that just passed and literally the moment I put the relaxer to my hair my hair started falling out and I mean falling out from the root so since the day that I relaxed my hair which was in April until July that I cut my hair and big chop my hair started falling out and that's the reason I big chop and this is what my hair looks like now okay so don't forget to go check out my big chop video and my natural hair journey video that is up on my channel already and let's get into this update Okay, so the last time I was here, I did my big chop and I literally had no hair. That was three months ago. I think yesterday it made it officially three months of me being natural all over again. And my hair has come a long way these three months. I literally had no hair. I had a straight up haircut and I had a part. And as you can see, <laughs> excuse me. As you can see, my hair has grown back. I have no part. The part was on the left side. It was a deep part. And I had no hair. And I complained a lot in that video that I did not like the barber how he did my hair. He had my hair really cut low um, on the side. So my edges grown back, as you can see. So I have edges. <laughs> I have edges again. And the part is gone. And the back has grown out as well. So yes, my hair has grown within these three months. And within these three months, like I could tell my hair was growing just because I started off with nothing, a straight up haircut. And as the weeks and the months went by, I was able to pinch my hair and then grip my hair. And now I have this and yeah, I feel like that is enough growth for me for three months because my hair did grow pretty fast. And I feel like my hair is actually getting somewhere. Okay, so the good thing is that my edges are growing back. I was really scared because the, the barber did, he thought he did his thing on my hair and I did not like it. I thought that my edges would forever, forever be thin. But I've been using castor oil and now they're looking pretty good and pretty healthy. And everything is growing back so therefore I have nothing to complain about. I like how my hair is looking. I like the growth that I have. And thank God because after, it took me this month to realize like my hair does not look bad. It looks good because I was not wearing my hair because I was a little bit ashamed. I'm like I was like a little boy. But yeah so now my hair is growing back and this is what it looks like. And it you can tell you can't tell me my hair did not grow compared to that very last video I made. Yes my hair has grown and it has grown a nice amount. A nice amount. Nice length. Okay so getting into my regimen now that I have a little something, something on my head. My regimen is very simple like I don't feel the need to have a complex difficult over the top regimen when I barely have like two inches of hair so my my regimen is very simple I just wash my hair when I feel like it needs to be washed and that's not really often because I don't put much product into my hair like when I don't go to work I mean when I don't go to school I just literally wash my hair and add oil to it that's it and I only wash my hair when I feel like I have like product build up or I have flakes in my hair but that no I don't I don't put much curling stuff into my hair because that causes build up and I don't want it first when I big chopped my hair I had extremely dry scalp because of the relaxer it had my scalp very flaky so I started to use tea tree oil and I did that for about a month and now that is treated I made sure I went and purchased 100% tea tree oil and I've been putting this on my scalp and that was for the first month and then my scalp is much better but it was flaky and scaly because that relaxer did numbers on my hair and now that's not a problem for me anymore so right now I'm just adding castor oil to my hair 100% castor oil I only use two brands because other ones are fake like you can tell by the texture the color the smell so I'm only using two specific castor oils and so the castor oils that I'm using is Tropic Owl I Tropic Owl Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil 100% no salt okay and when I can't even pronounce it um Talia Wajid I already know I pronounced that wrong. Jamaican black castor oil, original, thick hair, healthy skin. And I got both of these from the beauty supply store and they probably were like $8 or less. Mainly, I put water and oil in my hair and I try to moisturize my hair every day with water 
um, when it looks dry. So basically every day, and I wet my hair when I get in the shower, regardless of if my hair looks dry or not. And when it comes to like creams and stuff like that, I put whatever I find in my hair, find in my house, in my hair. My mom's natural, my brother's natural, my boyfriend's natural. So whoever has products with them, I'll just put that in my hair if I need to. And that's usually probably like the end of the week. So like we have a specific curling cream or hair lotion up in my hair, but mainly the ones that I've been putting in my hair is like Cantu and Shea Butter. Or I sometimes shea, shea moisture, but I do put shea butter in my hair as well. But I try to stay away from that because it's not like 100% and causes flakes and your hair smell too fragrancy. So I try to stay away from that because then it adds product buildup. And who has time to be washing their hair multiple times to get flakes out their hair when I barely have any hair? Like, that's just too much. So that's why I said my regimen is very simple. Like, I try to keep it simple, less stuff in my hair. But what I have in my hair right now is some Cantu. Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. And this, you can't really see it in the camera, but my hair is real juicy looking and the curls are very defined. And besides that, um, to make my hair more defined, I just use a curling sponge. And I got this from Walmart. You can get these from a beauty supply store as well. And this was probably about like $5 or less. But that's what I do to... Um, get some definition into my hair so it doesn't look so frizzy with my old products so that I don't become like a product junkie. I want to get rid of the old ones so that I can test out new ones on my channel. So I'm using some of everything right now. Whatever I see or whatever I feel like using it or whatever serves a certain purpose that I need then I swivel. That's the one I typically go for. Okay, so a lot of people ask me do I regret my big chop because a lot of my subscribers have big chop the same month that I big chop. So they said that the video made them feel better because they have something, somebody on YouTube to watch who has like the same hair texture, um, the same curl definition, and big chop around the same month. So like the same amount of growth. So one thing I regret is just the barber, period. Like I don't regret big chopping my hair off, period, because it needed to. I'd rather have no hair than walk around with hair with a damaged, brittle, dry, flaky matted my hair was just terrible and i don't regret big chopping whatsoever but the barber so if you go to big chop make sure you do your research somebody referred me to him but they all worked in the same shop so they probably just trying to look out for each other but he did a terrible job um if you he did not do anything that i asked him to do so i just wish that instead of me going to the barber i just would have left my hair alone because i had already big chopped i had three months of new growth already so my hair would have been double the length it is right now if i just would not have went to the barber like that's the only thing that i regret like literally right after i big chop i just i did not notice how hard it would be specifically for me because i've cut my hair several times but i never had no hair like i literally had a whole entire haircut so it was hard because it's hard to try to put a freaking scarf on top of a ball head like it slides it was already summer so i didn't want to wear no thick scarf on my head because i would look crazy and when i wear a wig because i had no hair and it was it was hard I'm, I'm not gonna lie like <laughs> the two first months was terrible like it was hard i was wearing hats i was attempting to wear scarves but it was too hot i looked crazy i took it off and i was getting all types of stares and as my hair was growing it was looking spiky because i had no hair and it was just hard like, i'm not gonna lie so therefore if you try to go natural do it for you don't let somebody else say like oh girl your hair is damaged or you should cut your hair with me no because you have to deal with it on your own so while they're confident with their hair or they're wearing their hair however they're wearing hair and they should like consider like try to bring it to you to cut your hair you have to do it with how you feel after you cut your hair so like now i'm in a good place like i like what my hair is looking like so i'm good and plus i did it for me but you got to think about that like don't let nobody talk you into cutting your hair unless you're like ready to do it because it's not gonna be like peaches and creams butterflies roses and rainbows like you have to deal with it it's gonna be ups and downs sometimes you're gonna feel ugly sometimes you're gonna feel like your hair not growing you're gonna feel like why did i do this like i should relax my hair it's like just do it for you and even though i've been chopping i had like my ups and downs and i was feeling hella hideous like it taught me how to be confident because it's like it's just hair like hair your hair me not having hair does not make me ugly this right <laughs> this right here makes me ugly and i feel like i'm perfectly fine right here with or without the makeup it was just that it was so hard because it's like some days you know when you have them days and you just wake up and you just go and you look in the mirror like damn i look kind of crusty not only do i look crusty but i'm bald head and crusty so i was just like oh my god i'm so ugly but then after i start to look i'm just like you are being insecure because you feel like people are looking at you and you feel like people are looking at you because you feel like you're bald head and ugly you feel like people are looking at you just for all the wrong reasons and then i had to think about it like what if people are looking because i actually like my hair or they're like dang she confident and she a good one for cutting her hair because then i start to get like compliments like um what made you cut your hair i like it. it's cute and that's when i realized like okay it's all in your head like you're not ugly 
you look as good as you were when you had hair on your head so I had to get out of that but it kind of forced me to be confident so now I'm kind of good like I did not want to leave out the house but now I just walk out and I go and keep my head up high and just go about my day and then I get a lot of compliments but if you got your head low and you looking at shame and you like like you just look like you're not confident like you're not happy with your hair then people will start you because they know you're not confident so that's why they're looking at you but yeah this is what my hair is looking like the third month and my bad for not making videos but school and work has been getting to me but yes my hair has been growing my hair is perfectly fine for those who ask like oh what you doing with your hair so in the future i think that i do want to try hair affinity to see how much growth i can get because i wonder i want my hair to be at like a nice length within the one year of me being natural my one year for those who ask like oh what you doing with your hair so in the future i think that i do want to try hair affinity to see how much growth i can get because I wonder, I want my hair to be at like a nice length within Nick, the one year of me being natural, my one year big chop, big chop aversary or natural aversary, whatever corny term you want to come up with. But yeah, I want my hair to be at a nice length because I look at some YouTubers, I'm like, their hair grows so fast, like Jayla, um, Jayla, and um, um, Lexi hair, like that hair go fast. So I feel like, let me take care of my hair, do what I gotta do so that my hair is long. So I'm gonna try hair affinity and I think I'm gonna dye my hair. Now, I'm kind of scared because some people say that when they dye their hair, bleach it, the texture of the hair changed. So I think I'm just going to do a plain permanent dye and do not bleach my hair and see what happens. But when it comes to cutting my hair or like tapering the sides or adding parts, like I'm done with that. Like I already went through that. I'm done with that. I just want my hair to grow out in one length. Now, the size of my hair is um, shorter than the top just because the way he cut my hair. Like I literally had no hair on the side. So it's a little bit shorter. I'm not getting shaped. Like it's perfectly fine like this. And I'm pretty sure you can see it in the camera because I can see it. Kind of make my head look like a little comb. But that's basically what my hair is looking like. This, that's what I do to my hair. That's what I put in my hair. For those who have just big chop, the month that I big chop or recently, congratulations on your natural hair journey. And if you have any video requests, comment them below. If you have any wig that you would like me to review, products or tutorials, just let me know, comment them below and I'll try to get those out. And don't forget to add me on Instagram at it's sad when you change your Instagram name so much that you don't even remember it. But don't forget to add me on Instagram at one Nikki Nicole. So therefore, I'm going to be doing um, adding more pictures of my hair and the growth and the, the products that I'm putting in my hair and regimens. Like there's going to be small clips on my Instagram at one Nikki Nicole. The page. But before this video is over, let me show you a close up of my hair just so you can see what the what the texture is looking like. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And that is it for this video.